Now, people look at what happened uh, at the state level. They point at uh, Abia State mm -hmm. as a sign that things are changing, even if it's gradual, that people were able to elect uh, Alexoti against the, the trend or the, um, the idea that a governor will find a way to put their preferred candidates. Mm -hmm. That in Abia State, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that election in Abia State? Well, two things. Well, first is that Ibazu is um, as a former governor. Um, is reputed to be far. I don't know how to put it. He 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 allowed the ball, the, you know, slip from his fingers, so to say. Second is. He does not apparently have the brutal strength. I don't think anything was at stake for him personally um, in terms of who returns to power. He was was busy dancing with the G5 and you know changing clothes like as though you know you know you know he was busy doing the theater of it rather than the groundwork of it. You know he went around the circus of the G5. And um, an idea was taken from him. Okay, that's one. Two is that I'm still keeping my eye on Alex Oti. Okay, and I'm still wondering if there were no compromises because you see, don't forget that Alex Oti was APC not long before then. Yeah, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm, I'm at this point a little bit skeptical. But if that indeed is the trend, and we see that it's happening in Nemo, happening in Anambra, in Nuku, in Ebo, in rivers, around the corners, then we might begin to say, well, stuff is happening. But it so happens that um, the, the public will in other state was expressed, and luckily people, you know, um, was respected. But I suspect it might be tokenism. Yeah, it might be some right. tokenist response in order not to overwhelm um, the, the system and, and because we are really ready to erupt if the results were mis 